Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm the owner of Classic Shoe and Leather Service in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a third generation cobbler with over 30 years experience. Our facility repairs all leather items. Come on in, let's see what we're repairing today. Okay, so today we, um, we're gonna do an interesting video. We were breaking down this boot and realized that the boot had been resold uh, a few more times than we had originally anticipated. We thought it had been done once or twice and it's been done probably about eight or nine times. So we uh, found out that the welt right here has just been chewed up, used up, and broken completely. You can see it's coming apart and tearing out in all sorts of different places. So we're going to go ahead and replace it. Uh, we want to go ahead and start by taking off the actual old welt itself. We're just going to go through and pop a couple stitches. And of course, timing. Give that just one second. One more ring and it's all done. Alright, so all we're going to do here is just go through and pop the stitches, pull those out. Now you don't want to cut the boot, just the stitches. Very important. Also, don't cut yourself. That's important as well. All right. So we have the stitches out, or we have the welt off. Now we want to take the stitches out. Can go underneath line here and find the back side of the stitch and pull it out most of the time. There we go. And typically, you can go ahead and find one, and the rest will follow it real easy. And you can pull them straight out. So we're going to go ahead and do that to the rest of the boot. We're going to get it all cleaned up all the way around and take both of the boots apart and get that done. And we're going to come back and show you how to start the new welt. All right? So that's all we're doing now. We took that off, and we're going to pull all the stitches, which just is a little bit time-consuming and a waste of video. But... We'll be back in just a moment, show you the rest. Okay, so we're going to continue with uh, putting the welt back onto the boot. That's what we're going to do now, but I also I wanted to start off with showing you how worn out the welt was. This is how, welt the, or how wide the welt was supposed to be. This, as you can see, is how worn down the welt is. Okay, it's literally half the size of what it started off as. That's why it needs to be replaced, plus it's just you know, worn off and broken, and it's got patches all over it, if you can see really close here. See that little divider line? That's actually a piece of patchwork from a skiver that was put on to the welt a while ago in a previous job. That was just to put it together to patch together. The welt was actually full of them. So, we're going to go ahead and take all that off and put on a new welt. A new welt is this nice little baby right here. All right. So we want to go ahead and have a nice smooth edge leading in to the arch. So we're going to skyver this. Skyvering it is just making a uh, shaved end so that it tapers down to the edge. Nice skyvered edge. Very, very easy. All right. Now, we want to give ourselves some thread. This is Sanu. This is a wax Sanu, very, very strong thread. This is what we're going to put it on with. I like to use about roughly three times around what you need. It typically gives me enough. This is an all needle. Okay, so we want to find the original holes, which are right here is where our starting point is. We want to come about half an inch roughly back behind just at the front, front portion of the skyver. We want to go for the original hole, push in, find the hole right there, push through. You'll see that a little patchwork is going on there. We'll take care of that later as part of the job. Let's go ahead and break that part out. And that way we 
can come back and do it this way, which is the proper way. Okay. Now, a little loop is how we get it started. I'll loop through it around the awl. Come through. Pull. Pull the string all the way through. I want to get roughly half the distance. And then we're going to go for our second hole. And push down and then in. And what you're aiming for is you want to go under that piece of cloth right there. So we have a upper, we have a lining, and we have the um, insole. We're going through all those three layers to tie the upper together. Come back through with another loop. It's just a simple loop. You can see, nothing really special. Come back through. Now here's the cool part. All right, pull the string through. That's your knot. So challenging. It's awesome, isn't it? All right, pull it tight. You want your knot. See how the ball actually ends up in the center? It's right in between these two. That's where you want it. Come back, find your next hole. Back through. Make sure that you're in between the cloth there. Pull back through and go. Pretty quick from this point forward. Now this was a Goodyear welted cowboy boot. Just so everybody knows, all a Goodyear welt is, is done mechanically instead of by hand. The machine does exactly what I'm doing just by machine, so it's a whole lot faster. You can see the little knot right here. There's that knot right there. I want that knot to disappear right in the center. So that pulls the thread nice and tight right there. That knows that it's locked in place and it's not going to slip or slide as the person's moving, wearing the boot. All right, we're going to go ahead and stitch a good portion of this. I'm going to come back to you and show you going around the toe. Next. See you in a few minutes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go around the toe. It's a little bit tighter stitch. You can see that the stitches are pretty uniform coming down through here. They're all pretty evenly spaced as we go around the toe. They'll get a little, a little wonky. Let's go through here. It's not any different stitch. Everything's the same. It's just that the stitches are a little wider on the outside and narrower on the inside. And you can see how the lining pieces are put together right here very well. That's the upper. That's the lining for the upper, and that's the interior material, that's the lining for the material, and that's your, uh, that's your cloth lining right here that ties it to the insole again. Alright, bring this all back. None of that is glued together. It's all put together by nails originally. I like to use glue because it tends to hold for a longer period of time. By the way, while doing this, don't poke that needle into your finger or underneath your fingernail. It hurts. Don't ask me how I know. See how wide the stitch is on the toe, and yet on the inside it's very narrow. So you're gonna make sure you pull it real tight. So you'll notice 
each time I pull the thread back through before I start another needle, I always open up the welt just a little bit. And that is so that I can see where the other hole is. If you look right here, you go pull it back just a little bit, and I see that hole right there. And that's where I'm aiming the needle for, to make sure that I get it right in the right spot. I don't actually want to poke any new holes as I'm doing this. Leather is not like fabric. Leather is um, it's a different material, so you can't just continuously poke holes in it to make it stronger. It actually makes it a lot weaker that way. So whenever we rebuild something or take it apart and put it back together, if at all possible, we want to go back through the same holes so we're not doing further damage to the material itself. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go down the rest of the side, and then I'll show you how we close it off. All right, back in a minute. Okay, so we're at the end of the video. We're going to go ahead, or into the well, and end of the video. We're going to go ahead and finish this off. I'm going to show you, get down a little bit further. Then we're going to go ahead and cut off the welt right here and finish it up and tie it off. So let's just get a little bit further down. Okay. All right, so we're going to take our welt to about right here. Let's grab our edge again. A piece of leather under there so we don't actually cut the boot. And this is a little bit complex, but it's the way I know how to do it. thin scriver. Leads back real good. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish the stitch. Okay, one more and we pull through. I want to make sure I get through that fabric on that last stitch. Alright, so we're going to come back through here, and then this time, we're going to give ourselves just a little extra room like this, so that when we pull the knot, we have plenty to pull through. Take that, pull that through like that. Right, like I said, we want to catch that fabric at the edge, so I'll push that knot down. There, pull tight. Bang bang. Push that seam together. That's what we want to do. See how it's separate right there. Go through and bang a little bit.
And we have a nice, freshly well-fed boot. Okay, put a sole on there, and it'll look pretty. And that's what we had beforehand. That's what we got afterwards. Not bad. And that's what was there. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, Leather. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.